Yair Rodriguez is one of my favorite fighters on the entire roster to watch because he has so many amazing performances and every single time this guy is scheduled to fight someone, there's a level of excitement that can't quite be matched by many others on the entire UFC roster. He is no doubt entertainment value at its best. I really like watching Yair Rodriguez fight. He has an amazing style to watch. His personality, in my opinion... I haven't really cared about it all that much, okay? I don't even mind if he had a bad personality. If he puts on the performances that he does, it's never really been a problem to me. I know a lot of people were angry at him after the Jeremy Stevens fight the first time that they competed in Mexico because he was angry at Bisping for no reason. And then all of a sudden, he had a bit of an altercation backstage with Jeremy Stevens as well. But then he fought Max Holloway and his personality seems quite cool, even after the fight when he lost. But now I'm seeing this headline and I'm really furious at Yaya Rodriguez and his actions. I'm not fighting Josh Emmett. I'm fighting Volkanovsky. Yaya Rodriguez says fighting for an interim title doesn't make any sense. No, I'm not going to wait. No, I'm going to wait for him. Even if he moves up to 155 pounds... Hopefully he wins the 155 pound belt, so it'll be a bigger accomplishment for me whenever I get to fight him and beat him. Why would I fight for an interim when I'm knocking on the door for a title? It doesn't make any sense. I'm not fighting Josh Emmett, I'm fighting Volkanovsky. Somebody who works in the management department of Yair Rodriguez's team, take this man away from a microphone because I'm losing my mind. Okay? If he was guaranteed the next title shot and it was known that Volkanovski's next fight was going to be in the featherweight division, I'd still be angry about this statement. But the fact that he said, even if Volk moves up to one, you're going to wait until next year, July? Volk's coming back maybe at best early next year at lightweight, if that's the avenue he's going down. Because you said you'd wait for him even if he does go up to lightweight. So he's coming back early next year, probably March next year, if they're going to do something at 155 pounds, because Makashev and Oliveira are fighting in October, and I doubt they want to make a quick three-month turnaround for Alexander Volkanovsky. And I've got a guy here in Yair Rodriguez who's going to want to wait multiple months after that scenario. You're not getting a title shot. That's what this just confirmed to me. No title shot for you. You're entitled. You lost to Max Holloway. You're not barely even on a one-fight win streak because Brian Ortega injured himself. You caused the injury, and you were looking good in that fight before that moment happened as well. However, where is this sense of entitlement coming from? Guess what? Having a close fight with, with Max Holloway doesn't mean all that much anymore because Volkanovski just destroyed him over five rounds. If Volkanovski, again, had a razor close fight with Max Holloway that he won, maybe then Yair would have a bit more of an argument. But even then I would be annoyed. You are on a one-fight win streak. Shut up, you muppet. Absolute clown of the featherweight division. I love this guy's fights. You're on a one-fight win streak. Where is this attitude from contenders coming from? Tony Ferguson went on a 12-fight win streak in the lightweight division. 12 in a row before he even got a sniff. And now you've got people like Yair Rodriguez. Well, I, I kind of beat Ortega, though. I'm going to sit out and wait for a whole year. No, you're not. And if Josh Emmett or Arnold Allen take a fight in the meantime, they're going to get a title shot instead of you. And I know exactly what the UFC is going to do in this situation. They have Arnold Allen. I believe 9-0 in the UFC on a nine-fight win streak. They've got Josh Emmett on a hell of a win streak himself, but he's in a position where he needs one more fight because people don't agree with the Calvin Cater decision. I don't agree with it. And also, it's hard to agree with the Dan Ige decision as well. So, I feel as though Josh Emmett needs one more win, and it needs to be a clear win so he can get himself that title shot and you've got Yair Rodriguez as well who just so happens to be a fresh matchup for Alexander Volkanovsky and that's the only reason he's even in consideration here however what the UFC is going to do now because of what Yair Rodriguez has done and Dana White already said this 
You know how I feel about people waiting around. It's a no-go. You've messed it up for yourself, you clown. <sighs> what an absolute clown. He's done two of these interviews now. So this isn't just him messing up once. He did one of these interviews. Dana White responded with what he said. And then Yair has done another one of these interviews. Took it, oh, oh, oh. He said, don't wait around. I'm going to wait around. Good job, dude. You're not getting a title shot. What the UFC is going to do in this situation is going to be playing the game. They're going to say, hey, Josh Emmett, want to fight Yair Rodriguez? Hey, Yair Rodriguez, want to fight Josh Emmett? And then Yair's going to say no. Emmett's going to probably say yes because he's seeing this situation go down. And if he has a manager that's in any way capable whatsoever, the manager's going to tell him, you just got to take one fight and you're going to jump over these other guys because you're the guy willing to show up and fight. So his manager's going to tell him, look at what Yair's doing. He ain't going to get a title shot no matter what. We just need to take a fight in the meantime. And they're going to say, Josh Emmett, do you want to fight Yair? He's going to say yes. Yair's going to say no. And then you know what they're going to do? Okay, Yair. Hey, Arnold Allen, want to fight Josh Emmett in a main event of a fight night? And Allen's going to say, damn right I do, because I'm going to get a title shot if I win. He's already on a nine fight win streak, but he's going to say yes. Yair Rodriguez, the entitlement, and I, people act like I'm being biased here, I said the same thing about Covington, this, that dude did not deserve a title shot after beating Woodley, let's be real, I said he wasted his entire prime, he doesn't deserve a title shot, he's been inactive and he's going to get smoked by Usman by second round KO, he ended up surviving and fighting on to what should have been a draw, but either way, it doesn't matter, it's what you earn. As a contender, there's so many divisions right now. Oh, Marvin Vittori, you beat Kevin Holland on short notice. Oh, here's Israel Adesanya. It makes no sense to me some, sometimes in this division. Usman's cleaning out the welterweight division. Luke should have got a uh, title shot for beating Michael Chiesa. Bilal Mohamed should have already got a title shot as well. No, he didn't clean out the division. He fought Covington after a win after Woodley. One fight win streak after beating Covington beforehand. Then he fought Masvidal in a rematch when Masvidal did nothing but sit out on the sideline. No more of these freebie contenders to give the champ fake legacy. I want the contenders. And maybe I'm crazy for saying this. I want the contenders to act hungrier than the champions. Maybe I'm asking for too much. Who knows? Because right now in the UFC, for the first time in ever, the champions are acting like contenders. I'll fight next three months. Oh, uh, just give me a short notice replacement for Holloway. I'll fight the Korean zombie. And then Holloway in July? Cool, I'll take Holloway in July. Meanwhile, we've got these other guys in the division. Like, nope, I've got a one-fight win streak and I'm sitting out until I get my title shots. You're the contender. The champion can sit out for a bit if he wants. And take some time off and wait for the division to marinate itself. But you are a contender. A fighter's paid too much? How can Yair afford to... If, if fighters aren't paid enough, how can Yair afford to sit out for a year? I don't understand. Maybe they are paid. Maybe, you know what I would do if I was the UFC management? Oh, oh, you've got time to sit out for a year? You're clearly paid too much. Half his paycheck. Get in there again. I wouldn't do that, because that would be ruthless, tyrannical dictatorships. But, you know, I mean, it works, and it gets people going, I'll tell you. Um, but really, look at his resume here. He beat a Korean zombie, and it is a good win. But it was he was losing the whole fight. He took it on short notice, fair enough. But he was losing the whole fight and landed that elbow with literally one second to go. He should have arguably lost, okay? Other than that, he's beaten Jeremy Stevens and Ortega recently. That's literally it. You were suspended by the UFC for two years because you missed three USADA tests in a year period, okay? No one else does that but you, Yaya Rodriguez. And then you come back against Max Holloway with dramatically improved cardio, okay? So let's not even get into that side of things because you don't want to get into that side of things because it's not looking good for you at all. If anything, you should be the one saying, yeah, I'll take on anyone. Yeah, sure, I'll take on that guy, yeah. I'll do anything it takes. You should be the one groveling in this position because you've done nothing but mess the UFC up for so long. 
There's a beat fight that never got made because of you. And then at one point because of Zabit as well. Then you get suspended by USADA for two years. Then you come back to fight Max Holloway in a title elimination bout. Lucky. Lucky to even get that treatment after the USADA ban for two years. Lucky to get a title elimination bout. You lose. Good fight though. Beat Brian Ortega by shoulder injury. Yeah, he is acting like he just will kick KO'd Ortega in the first round. That's not what happened at all. If that happened, maybe you would have an argument just based on hype to make like, oh, I want to get the title shot. And people would sort of rally behind him because they really want to see it as well. That's not what happened. You beat BJ Penn, uh, Dan Hooker at Featherweight, which is a decent win. But still, BJ Penn, the Korean zombie, Jeremy Stevens. I know Jeremy Stevens was ranked quite highly at the time. But you lost the third round of that fight because your cardio before you started ban for two years wasn't the best. Let's just say that. I'm really annoyed by these contenders, man. We're seeing this in so many different divisions. And it just annoys me. This one fight win streak of a contender argument. Be Whitaker. Whitaker should have got the title shot over Marvin Vittori. But no, we have to give these champs fake legacy. So they can become the GOATs. And we can have the GOATs in our era. So we can make money off of them now. There's no use having the people who aren't quite goats yet in your era. So the UFC's main focus is, if we have a dominant champion, let's just get them to be considered a goat so that we can sell them as the goat on a pay-per-view. And then people, more people will want to watch them and stuff like that. So I don't like this fake legacy stuff. Be Max Holloway. Be Robert Whittaker if you're a contender. And those guys lost a title. They were champs. And they're hustling back. You've never been a champ. Never touched a belt. Never even got a fight for a belt. You're not a loss of a contender, a title contender, who's now back on a... You never were a title contender. And here he is, like, no, I've got my one fight win streak. I'll be fighting for the title next year. Good luck, dude. They're doing Josh Emmett. If this is the attitude Yair keeps, they're doing Josh Emmett versus Arnold Allen. Thank you for your time, Yaya Rodriguez. You can fight Bryce Mitchell coming up soon. Or you know what? I hear Movzar Evloev's free. That's a real fun matchup for you. Why not that one, Yaya, instead? Seeing as you want to wait out for a little bit. Let's do that instead. Let's do Bryce Mitchell, Movzar Evloev, and do you versus the winner of that. That sounds great to me. And that's what I'm hearing if I'm a UFC employer. I'm hearing, oh, Yaya doesn't want to fight for a belt. No matter all the words he just said. I'm not fighting Josh Emmett. I'm fighting Volkanovsky. Why would I fight for an interim? Why would you fight for an interim? Did you get pay-per-view shares fighting for a belt that you don't even have yet? Get the interim belt. Get pay-per-view shares. But this is why McGregor took on Mendez on short notice. So he can get the Mendez belt and then get pay-per-view shares for the massive Aldo fight. Maybe they don't treat Yaya the same way. Maybe they do because he's quite a big name. It's not like he's a flyweight. Ugh. Arrogance of these contenders. Absolute arrogance. Honestly. What a mess. These absolute pussies. And I know people are going to be like, oh, you're not a pro fighter, dude. You can't say that. This is what they need to hear. This is why me and Aljo had that beef. This is what you need to hear. You ain't going to get this from Ariel Hawani. You know what Ariel's going to do? Um, jeez, you know, I don't know. Uh, I guess they could give it to anyone, you know. And then just play the sitting on the fence role. And then other people are going to say, yeah, yeah, I don't blame him. You're only going to get one shot at it. I would sit out and all this type of stuff. No, this is what he needs to hear. Shut up. You took zero. It's not like he went to war with Ortega or got injured. You took zero damage. This should be in your mind. Oh, I can be more active than Josh Emmett and Arnold Allen. I can get them when they're coming off of like a hard-fought victory and Allen's got a broken hand and Emmett's got a broken orbital and I can be the fresh guy with momentum and fight them quickly afterwards and have an advantage over him and then I can get a title shot. But instead, you're the guy sitting out waiting around even though you're in the most priv privileged position any contender could ever be in to earn your title shot with one more fight. Pathetic. Disgrace. Fuck him. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Hopefully Yaya sees this and understands the error of his ways because this has annoyed me beyond belief. Goodbye.